Hey everybody, Georgie Flash Shane here again. So uh, this is starting to become a type of routine, huh? You guys leave me messages, I answer your questions, and hopefully everyone's happy. I mean, I'm happy because people kind of think I'm kind of important, and I hope you're happy that I'm answering your questions. I mean, I'm answering them to the best of my abilities, and I hope you guys can accept that. Um. So today, we got uh, some more questions for you guys from two young men who um, I'm going to give a shout out to uh, after I say their question. So first question is from a young man named Oliver. And he asked, if you could be any fruit, what would it be and why? Well, Oliver, I'd just like to start off by saying that is an excellent question. Thank you for asking. Uh, to answer your question, I would be a watermelon. Out of all the fruits in the world, I'd be a watermelon. Why? Because a watermelon is really hard on the outside. But when you crack open, when you finally get it open, it's, it's really soft and, and squishy and tasty. And just, it's a very delicious treat everyone likes. So, um, why this applies to me, personally, because as a butch lesbian, I'm like, the moment, you know, I decide, well, not really decide, but, you know, the moment that, you know, I start dressing like a guy and acting like a guy and shortening my name to where it sounds manly and, you know, acting just out in an aggressive, masculine manner... I've taken on the role of a butch. That's me, personally. I'm not stereotyping or anything. It's me. So, as a butch, I'm kind of hard on the outside. Like, if I have a girlfriend and somebody's messing with her, clearly it's, it's my job to go beat their, like, butt. Or, I don't know if I can curse on video, but I'm just going to not. So, I, I, it's my job as her like, man, boyfriend, to go, girlfriend, not boyfriend, girlfriend, to go kick their butt. And that's what I do. So, I mean, I come off as kind of, you know, tough on the outside. But, I mean, once you crack open my shell and you get to the what's inside here, I'm actually a big softy, like a big teddy bear. I mean, I'm, guys... I'm publicly admitting this to you. I am a big teddy bear inside. I like to cuddle. I like to, like, go on picnics and do all that sappy, romantic stuff that just makes other people want to barf. I know. I find it cute. I mean, I like to please my girl. Whatever it takes, I will do it. Even if I have to sit through a, you know, marathon of freaking girly movies, you know, chick flicks. They're gross, but... If it makes her happy, then I'm happy. So, that's all that really matters. So, yes, I'd be a watermelon. Because I'm hard on the outside, but a big softy on the inside. I guess we're going to have to make, like, a new category of something. Soft dyke. I mean, there's soft butch, but that really doesn't apply to me. So, I can be a soft dyke. I don't know. I just, hopefully I just reinvented a new title. And if you guys agree, you know, you should like it. Like it. Um... Alright, on to the next question. Next question is from a young man named Anthony. And he asked, How do you get over someone that you still love? If they sometimes if they're sometimes in your life and you still think about them. If you feel like you're still in love with the person, but you don't even talk to them. Well, Anthony, that's an excellent question also. A more serious question on a, a more serious note. And it's, it's a bit ironic uh, that you asked me this question because, you see, myself, I'm in the same boat as you, my friend. Um, I just got dumped recently by a girl I was totally head over heels handing her my heart in love with. Love at first sight. The room's time stopped. Everyone in the room disappeared. It was just us. It was, it was great until it ended. And to this day, I still don't know why, because she won't 
She won't give me a straight up answer. So I'm very bummed about that. And I'm still single because I can't seem to move on. Every every woman I try to hold just reminds me of her. So it's pretty bumming. But um, the best way to get over it or to deal with it, I can't tell you how to get over it. I'm sorry. There's just only time will heal that. But the best way to deal is to occupy yourself. Put yourself and your mind to a, a different task, you know, like um, reading a really tough book or, you know, yard work, housework, um, you know, trying to become the next Einstein. Just occupy your, your mind as well as your physical body. I'm not telling you to go out there and have sex with a thousand different people. No, that's not going to help. You're not going to get over her that way. What you need to do is you need to just occupy yourself, you know, listen to music, mow some lawns, walk a dog, I don't know, whatever you're into, man. Or you could try what I did. I mean, I'm not over her completely, but this is what I did. I listened to sad, mu I listened to sad music and cried myself to sleep. Then I just cried myself to sleep. Then I just listened to sad music because I was totally out of tears. No more tears. I, no more tears. And then I, um, you know, and then I just stopped altogether because it's not healthy to be depressed over someone who wasn't even meant for you in the first place. I mean, there's the saying, if, if you love someone, you let them go. And if they come back, they're yours. But if they don't, it was never meant to be. So if you guys broke up and she hasn't come back to you, she's not your soulmate, man. She's, she's not the girl you're supposed to be with forever. So best that you just go on with your life and try to live up to your full potential. Don't let her see the pain that she's causing you. I mean, she probably knows already. My ex knows how much she hurt me. But when I see her at school, do I let her see? No. I put on a big smile like crazy clown psycho big and just tell jokes and goof off you know she doesn't see how bad it hurts you know and you ever hear that song easy by rascal flats i mean it's a country band but it's a good song it's all about how like they do all these things and every time they see her it's just like she's looking at him and she's like why is it so easy but what she doesn't know is it's not easy it's not easy to put on a big smile every day and go to school and be in the same area as her with all our friends and me be single while she's totally fine. It's not easy, but you do what you have to do. I don't want to say man up because that's, you know, bad, but you do what you have to do for you. She's out of the picture now, man. She wasn't worth your time. She wasn't worth your goodness and your kindness. So it's her loss, not yours. She needs to get over it, not you. Okay? You will find someone one day, I promise you, Anthony, that will just appreciate you for who you are and love you for you. And that person won't even like, and I don't know, it, it'll just be perfect. You'll find your other half one day, I swear. Man. She's out there, I promise you. But for now, this relationship that you're talking about just wasn't meant to be. And the sooner you accept that, the sooner you can move on, I promise. So, um, yeah, I really hope I answered your question. If I didn't, I'm sorry. Really, I, I answered it to the best of my abilities. Like, I try every question. Um, so, yeah, thanks a lot for your questions. And um, subscribe, comment. Leave a message, either private, privately or publicly, video response, anything you guys want to do. Um, good. If you have, like, a topic that you want me to just spend my entire video talking about, that's awesome, too. Um, you know, I don't have to answer all these questions in one video. Just for now, my, my questions aren't, you know, very many, so I'm knocking two burns with one stone here. So thank you guys again. Love you guys. Just so you know, I don't always wear black, you know. I wear gray sometimes. Sometimes I wear red. But yes, subscribe, comment. Shane loves you. You're beautiful. Peace out, guys. Peace.